If you've been hosting on Airbnb for a while, you know how time consuming and stressful it can be to send timely messages to guests one after another. In this video, I will show you how you can set up automated messages on Airbnb. This way you can focus your time and energy on more important things in your life and let the computer handle this job for you. There are free and paid options to automate messages on Airbnb. Firstly, I will talk you through how you can do it for free and its limitations. Then I will show you what additional options you get from paid softwares. This is no nonsense Airbnb. My name is Prayas and let's get rolling. The messages you send as a host can broadly be divided into four categories. First are event-based messages. These we send after a certain activity happens, such as sending a reservation confirmation message soon after the guest confirms their booking, or it can be responding to a new inquiry. The second category is timed messages, which are to be sent at a certain time before or after a certain event. For example, sending check-in instructions to a guest seven days before their arrival or sending a message to the guest on their first morning after their check-in or sending checkout instructions to the guest a night before their checkout. The third category of messages is responding to customer queries. These could be related to the property such as asking for a parking space, a Wi-Fi speed or anything else they might be struggling to find or understand. And the fourth category is notifications to your team, such as informing your cleaners or anyone else you need to notify about your upcoming bookings. Now, let's talk about the options you have to automate these messages. The first one is free because it is provided by Airbnb. This option is great because it's free and you can send event-based and scheduled messages, but it has a lot of limitations. Let me first show you how you can automate Airbnb messages for free. Now, when it comes to scheduling messages via Airbnb, you need to log into Airbnb website. Try and do this from the website because their phone app is not suited for things like this. And once you're logged into Airbnb, click on switch to hosting on the top right. That will take you to your hosting dashboard and then go to inbox. Basically, we need to go into any message thread with a guest. And once you're there, you need to click on this plus button here and then you need to click on scheduled messages that will take you to the scheduled message creation page. Click on create a message template and that brings up the template which you can populate. You can give a template name. For example, I will say check in instructions here. This is just for your own reference. And here you can type in a message. Hi. Uh, the, here are your check-in instructions. Now, one thing you would want to do here is to make it personal. You want to be able to insert the guest first name, for example. That is where the short codes come in. Short codes are nothing but a small codes which automatically bring in the reservation details into the message. For example, if you want to insert the guest first name, click on insert here and then just choose guest first name. And then what you see here in brackets is a detail which will automatically be pulled from the reservation it is going to send the message on. And then you can type in your message, blah, blah, blah. And you can say thanks and your host, for example. Now, going further down, if you have multiple listings, you can just click on select and choose the listing you want this message to be applied to. Now, the last option is the scheduling message. This is where the action happens. You can choose or based on what action you would want this message to be scheduled. For example, you can say booking confirmed and then when to send. You can say this message has to go one hour after the booking is confirmed and simply click on create. After that, this message will be sent to every booking that gets confirmed and it will be sent one hour after that. If you want to change it, you can just click on it again and delete it if you want to delete it from here. There are a few other options here. So for example, instead of booking confirmed, you can say check-in. So this will look at your check-in time and then you can say for six days before the check-in and at what time. 
same you can do for checkout and you can choose days before three days before the checkout or you can say one day before the checkout at this time send this message there is no limit to how many messages you can schedule like this and once you have scheduled them airbnb will just keep sending those messages when the scheduled time arrives there are limitations as i mentioned it you can only trigger messages on these three events booking confirmed check-in and checkout this is pretty much it what you can do for free from airbnb but it is very handy if you are just looking for simple messages instead of sending them manually just use this option and it is a great tool and the only way to navigate to these messages is via inbox you need to go into a message thread with a guest and click on plus here scheduled messages and that will bring you to your scheduled messages screen in summary you can create event based or scheduled messages around these three actions on airbnb reservation confirmation guest check-in and checkout that is why this option is ideal if you're looking for sending some key messages such as a reservation confirmation sending check-in instructions x days before the guest arrival you can also send a message to check upon your guest by sending a message on the first morning to find out how they are doing and if they need anything. Checkout instructions message, for example, you know, people send a checkout instructions message 16 hours before the checkout time. And you can send a review reminder message after the guest has checked out. And make sure to use the short codes as much as possible to make them personal. Now, let's move on to the paid territory. There are tons of software options that let you automate your hosting related messages to a whole new level. In addition to what Airbnb lets you do for free, these software options let you schedule messages around a lot more events and not only guests, they can automatically send messages to your cleaner, accountant, manager or anyone else you would like to keep informed about bookings. For example, I use Hospitable for all my message automation. Not only it sends guest messages, but it also sends text and email reminders to my cleaners so they never miss a clean. It automatically writes reviews for my guests after they leave. It syncs my smart lock with bookings and automatically sends the lock code to the guest as part of the check-in instructions. And it also uses AI to automatically respond to guest inquiries, early check-in, late checkout requests based on availability, saving me from keeping an eye on my phone all the time. Hospitable goes one step further with AI. Instead of writing a response to a guest message myself, it gives me an option to send responses to guest queries using AI. It prepares the response and I can change things in it if I want to and I've recently started using this feature and I must say it has taken a weight off my shoulders. Let me just quickly walk you through the messages that I have set in Hospitable for guests and cleaners and other things which I have been talking about. This is the Hospitable's messaging section. These are all the messages I have scheduled for one of my property and based on different events. So if, for example, you can see this message gets sent when a new inquiry comes and it also automatically pre-approves any inquiry. The second message here is new special offer. As soon as I send a special offer to a guest, this message gets triggered. The third message is new checkpoint. Checkpoint is when a guest has requested your property, but they are still going through ID verification steps and the booking is not yet confirmed, but Hospitable can sense that and it can allow you to trigger a conversation with the guest and basically it starts a conversation with the guest who is yet to confirm a reservation due to ID verification problems. The next is a new request to book. So when someone sends you a request to book, you have not accepted it yet, but Hospitable will send them a message saying something like, we have received your booking request and we will review it and get back to you shortly. The next one is the new payment issue. When a guest is trying to book your property, but if there is a problem with the payment method they are using, Hospitable can sense that and it can send a message to the guest at that point as well. New reservation is triggered when a new reservation is confirmed. Now the next one is AI based message. Questions about parking. 
whenever someone asks a question about parking ai built into hospitable can sense whether they are asking for parking and it will send the response which i have defined here to them as soon as it senses the guest is asking for more information about the parking same way it can sense early check-in and late checkout requests and it sends my predefined message to such requests and the last one with ai feature here is questions about discount it automatically senses whether a person is asking for a discount and it sends my standard message which i have defined here the next message gets sent one minute after a new reservation is made and this message is sent when the pre-approval has expired for example someone sent me an inquiry yesterday and it's been 24 hours i pre-approved them but they have not confirmed their reservation at that point when that pre-approval expires which is after 24 hours hospital will automatically sends my message to the guest saying hey i pre-approved your inquiry yesterday if you need more information please get in touch the next one is new cancellation whenever someone cancels a booking hospital will send a message and this one is the first morning message 18 hours after check-in it sends a standard message to the guest and the last one is the checkout instructions these checkout instructions get sent 16 hours before the guest is due to check out for example if they are checking out tomorrow at 11 o'clock it will send that message at seven o'clock the previous night so these are some of the messages you can schedule there are a lot more options all you need is click on add new and it will give you all these options the kind of message you want to define based on an event based on a schedule and these are the ai based messages you can choose what kind of query you get asked often and you can define a response to that and after that hospitable will keep sending that message whenever someone asks those things and the last one is a review template you can send them a review reminder if the guest has not written a review only then it sends them a request for a review if it senses that the person has already written a review it does not send that message so it can do all that kind of clever thinking and now let me show you how team messages are sent to my cleaners about an upcoming reservation and when they need to clean for that i'll need to go into operations and notification rules so these are all the messages that have been defined to go out to my teammates for example there is this check-in for laundry this message gets 1.2 days before the check-in it gets sent to the laundrette guy he knows when he has to deliver the fresh laundry this is 1.1 days before check-in it gets sent to my cleaning team so they know they have to go and clean tomorrow and things like that so this is very handy you can schedule sms for example i use sms but if you wanted you can use an email message as well which can be sent to your cleaner the third thing i want to show you is the ai feature which lets you respond to guest inquiries all you need to do is go into inbox and just go to any message thread with the guest and you can just click on suggest with ai and then it starts looking at the conversation you've been having with the guest and it creates a message based on what you've been talking about so this is the message it has prepared for me looking at the conversation i've been having with this guest if i don't like something i can change that bit and just click on send it saves a lot of time for me personally when I'm responding to guest queries because I don't really have to rekey in every response and think about it. There are lots of other features Hospitable offers. For example, if you are using any of the smart devices, these are all the integrations it offers with smart locks. And then if you start looking at the list, it is a big, big list. You can have an accounting software, MailChimp. It can connect to a dynamic pricing tool if you want. It can do a lot and lot and lot than a standard airbnb automation message but it is paid it also gives you a direct booking website and if you want to list your property on vrbo and booking.com you can do so as well and it will keep your prices and availability in sync in all those platforms all the time that is just a brief overview i will do a separate video on how to configure hospitable for all these possible scenarios but I just wanted to give you an overview of how things are set up and the capabilities of Hospitable when it comes to automating your messages. Now let's go back to my camera again. This is just one out of 10 software options that can be used to automate messages and much more. The key thing you need to keep in mind when choosing the right software for you to look for how much it costs each month. 
how easy it is to set up. Does it offer integration with dynamic pricing software and how good the customer service is? I've tried most of the other softwares out there and for me, Hospitable ticked all the boxes. I will leave a link to Hospitable in the description below, which will give you a 30 days free trial as well. Feel free to explore this software. Maybe you will like it too. I will also leave a link to a page on my website where I have listed all the software available in the market to do the message automation in case you want to check the others out as well. I hope you find this video useful. Please feel free to drop me a comment if there is something I missed or you would like to know more about. This brings me to the end of this video, wishing you all the best and happy hosting.